Hey guys, I saw this cool new effect in Natalie Portman's new rap music video from SNL. Uh, so let's get right into it and I'll show you how it's done. Okay, so you're gonna have your starting clip and then you're gonna have your transition clip. And in this transition clip is you, or whoever your actor is, doing the motion of the opening, opening the curtains. This is just beautiful, just awesome. Okay, so this is the, in this is the initial clip we're gonna use. I just got it from a stock footage site. And now what you wanna do is bring these two clips into After Effects. Go replace with After Effects composition. I already had After Effects open, so it's gonna bring it up here. I'm gonna delete these WAV files because we don't need them for this. Drag our clip back to four seconds. I held, I held shift so that it snaps to my little playhead there. I'm gonna click on the top clip and I'm gonna cut it using alt and right bracket. Okay, now I want my transition clip on top of the, I'll call it receiving clip. And what we're gonna do is move this so it's not totally at the end. We're gonna start right where I start to pull open. Let's bring it back in here a little bit. Okay, so now I like to start these in the middle. I like to start the mask in the middle. So what you're gonna do is make sure you have the top clip selected. That's your like transition clip. You're gonna click on the little pen tool up here. I already have it selected. And you're just going to start up out of the clip, come down to the hand, and this doesn't need to be perfect, but you want it to be pretty good. Go to your knuckle, and then make a little, little box around your hand. And then come all the way down, around, and do it on the other side. And then close that off. So you already see me peering through. Kind of creepy, and now what you're going to do is you're going to click MM to bring up the mask properties, and we're going to start animating this mask. So we're going to keyframe mask path. Let's go forward in time, page down to go a couple frames. Don't worry about the clip being gone just yet. We'll fix that. And you want to, I'm probably going to speed this up because it's going to be boring as heck. Okay, so we got a pretty good mask here. You can see, it's, you can still see it here, so that's not exactly what you want. So what I'm gonna do is go to the mask opacity. You're gonna keyframe that, and you're gonna start it at zero. So it's not there. You're gonna page down one frame, bring that up to 100, and then you have a nice, a nice opening. But we still have this black, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to where my mask goes off the screen, Click on our, I'm, gonna, I'm still calling it the receiving clip, alt, right bracket, just move it up. And there we go. I mean, it's pretty good at the moment, although you can see when I pause it, it looks kind of like garbage. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the feathering. I'm going to turn the feathering up, not too, too high, just to give it that nice motion blur. Let's go, let's go 70. Let's see what that looks like. That looks pretty good. So you can use this as transitions in your vlogs, you know, go from this beautiful outdoor right into what you want to talk about. Um, it's a pretty cool transition. You can do this in like a lot of different ways. You can, you know, you can pull down from the top. You can squish in from the sides. Maybe you could like, you know, rotate the whole thing and spin it around. There's like a billion different ways you can do this. Um, I hope this just gives you a general idea of how you can use Premiere and After Effects to achieve this effect. Um, and when you're done, you'll see in Premiere, uh, the, the dynamic linking will update so that you'll have your, 
your transition. Of course, it's not rendered very well, um, but you can bring it back into Premiere and you know, work on it from there. Yeah, so I hope you thought this was interesting. I hope you thought it was cool. I hope you can use it in your future projects. If you do, I would love to see them, so send them my way. And if you want more of these tutorials uh, in Premiere After Effects, I might start doing some Photoshop soon, then please like and subscribe. It really helps me out, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.